on September 22, 2009, protesters gathered outside the downtown offices of Blue Cross Blue Shield. Blue Cross is a subsidiary of the largest healthcare insurance company in the country, WellPoint. We're here today to communicate to Blue Cross and to tell them that we're sick of their policies on how and how they cover and do not cover patients and uh, policy plan holders. So we've gathered about 200 people today to basically have our demands known to them, to let them know that we're sick of big insurance. Uh, Blue Cross and Anthem are just one of a handful of insurance companies that have a stranglehold on our healthcare system. They basically make it impossible for other companies to come into the system to provide healthcare insurance for others because they basically lock arm in arm with one another about what type of policies that they set, what type of services that they provide, what and what prices that they will uh, that they will charge customers. Shockingly, I was surprised to learn that I was denied coverage because I get occasional migraine headaches. I took Zantac for acid reflux. When I called the rep at Blue Cross to ask what the problem was with acid reflux, she replied, you might think you're having a heart attack, go to the emergency room, and that's very costly for us. Never mind my health. I don't think Blue Cross should be in business with this kind of attitude. And this is not happening just with Blue Cross, it's happening with HealthNet, it's happening with Aetna, it's happening with all the major insurance companies who, provide, who claim to provide health care and health coverage for the American public. Anthem Blue Cross has an average claim rejection of one in five. According to a recent study, Anthem Blue Cross spends over $641,000 a day fighting health care reform, including the public option. Public option affords me an, uh, a choice. If I don't have that choice, then I don't have any leverage with my insurance coverage. Um, I, I know that it's like this big thing where, especially like as a small businessman, if I walk in off the street, I have to pay the street price for healthcare, which is about three times what I would pay for my PPO. So if I don't have health insurance, then I'm probably not going to be able to uh, afford health care. And um, I think if I had a public option, uh, I could then call Anthem and say, if I'm unhappy with their service, I could say, well, you know, I do have an option. I do have some other place to go. Eighty percent of policyholders have received thirty-nine percent premium increases, while CEOs' compensation continues to go up. There was about uh, ten of us that went inside the building, attempted to meet with Blue Cross. They refused to meet with us. This is the most critical issue of our time. This is there's been no other movement since the civil rights movement uh, uh, that's rippled across the country. This is really important for the health of our country, it's important for the economy of our country, and it's a time for change. Canceling policies causing your bankruptcies, leaving you on your knees, cause we're all